Assalamu alaikum my dear viewers welcome to another beautiful class and in this lesson I shall explain a pulley related problems from physics so you see that a pulley is having mass 90 kilogram and 40 kilogram in two ends that is kept stationary this is important that is kept stationary six meter above from the ground by applying an unknown force so basically this is 90 kilogram so if i say this is m1 and m2 simply we can see that m1 is greater than m2 so the 90 kilogram and 40 kilogram they should not be in the stationary because the the weight of this object is higher so it will it should come downwards but but it's kept it is kept stationary and that is for applying an unknown force so this is a very simple statement is given but the thing is question about the uh, the creative question is that that what is i mean the defined power so in case of power definitions we know that the power is the rate of doing work or the transformation of energy so we know that power is actually work work upon time so this is important that work upon time that should be the power and then we know that this work if it is done by the potential energy so we know that this should be mgh over t so and we know that the unit of power is what so what is equal joule per second so what is equal joule per second so we know that the power is the rate of doing work or transformation of energy the second question is that that explain the law of conservation of energy we know that what is the law of conservation of energy that energy that cannot be created or destroyed it can be transformed from one form of another form to another or more forms so this is the uh, this is actually uh, the conservations of energy now so in our daily life we the forms of energy we experienced around as is imperishable so it has no destruction it transforms only from one form to another so i hope this is i mean a narrative question so you can solve it down because this is written on your book so in question c that find the required force given to the first object to keep the pulley stationary as you say that that it's saying in the in the stain that it was kept stationary how it's possible because we know that the weight that acting so the weight the weight of the first object the weight of the first object that is working as is actually we know w is equal mg so 90 times 9.8 which is hopefully this is 882 newton and you see the weight of the second object is about uh, you know the 40 kilogram and if we multiply by 9.8 this should be 390 to Newton now you see the difference between the weight so required force given to the first object to keep the pulley stationary that is simply the deduction so we can say that 882 Newton minus 392 Newton is equal actually 490 Newton so this amount of force that is required to keep the pulley stationary simple just simple think about it this is 90 kilogram is downwards and this is 40 kilogram it should be going upwards because the mass of this object is higher so to keep this pulley stationary so this amount of newton should be applied okay so the next question is about that if if the pulley is kept free two masses starts moving so definitely it will come downwards and it will go upwards so the calculate the velocity of the object when first mass come down by two meter now this is the interesting part so what to do you should know one thing if this is the pulley 
and suppose that two different masses is hanged here according to this stem according to the stem this should be m1 and this should be m2 so you see that the weight of the object will work downwards but the tension tension will work upwards so for that reason you know that if the mass of this object is higher than these the work the weight would be definitely higher so it will come down just neglecting the tension so in this case we know that the first mass is 90 kilogram we know and the second mass is 40 kilogram so of course we know that gravitation due to uh, uh, gravitation deceleration is 9.8 meter per second square so let the acceleration of the object m1 and m2 is a so i'm thinking that acceleration is a and now as m1 is greater than m2 the object m2 will move upward and m1 will move downwards so for for m1 object for the m1 we know that it will go down so the weight the weight mg is greater than the tension that is actually this okay we know that f equal ma and then for for the second object which will which will actually going upwards the tension the tension you see it will go downwards so it will go upwards so the tension of the second subject would be higher so it should be like m2g is equal m2a so if i say this is equation number one and this is equation number two and if we add these two equation will have like m1g plus sorry it should be minus minus m2g is equal m1a plus m2a so if we just find the value of a so it should be like g in common m1 minus m2 and if a is common m1 plus m2 so from this equation if we find the acceleration it should be like uh, m1 minus m2 over m1 plus m2 g so the equation is m1 is 90 minus 40 that is should be 50 and this is uh, 90 plus 40 it's 130 point nine point eight so if we add so it should be three point seven seven meter per second square this is the accelerations so the question is the question is that that the velocity of the object we need to find the velocity of the object when the first mass comes down by two meter so now as we know the distance that travel by the object by two meter and the initial velocity was zero meter per second now we need to find out the final velocity so we know that in this case we can use the principle v square equals u square plus 2 g h so now it should be 2 a h as because this is the acceleration so as u is equal to zero so the v is equal root over 2 a h and it's about that root so you can say 2 times 3.77 times 2 so ultimately this is actually uh root over 15 and it should be 2 3.88 meter per second and this is the velocity that would be for this for the object when it will pass three meter so i hope you understand 
the way of solving this type of questions though I, I, I know that this is very easy I mean this is level one type of questions and uh, if you see this type of uh, pulley and some two different objects and please please uh, read the stream clearly read the stream and try to understand and what are the questions so you know that in case of creative questions it can arrive from any corner of your physics book so you know that question number a b c and d whatever uh, I hope that you understand the process of doing these and of course if you face any trouble do let me know by commenting in the videos uh, comment sections and let me know in the Facebook page also so take care stay well see you on the next video take care bye bye